everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing this Android rugged smartphone by a brand called Doogie. Model number is S40 Lite and it's an affordable rugged smartphone. You can purchase one of these for less than £70 UK currency and to be honest it has a lot of features built into this smartphone. Now you can also get the S40 if you want which is just above £100 and that's still affordable. Now let me start off with what comes in the, inside the box. It comes with a micro USB charging cable and the mains plug and the smartphone itself. That's it. There's no case, there's no screen protector or anything like that. Um, it would have been useful because these kind of screen protectors or external case if it came with it. Because if you go on eBay you won't really find the case for this because it's the... The brand and the model, you won't really, it's not really that known for it to be on eBay and stuff at the moment. Now, it has a front camera, which is a 5 megapixel. Rear camera is a 8 megapixel and a 5 dual camera. Flashlight is there, which I've tried it out and for some reason, when I switch on, it doesn't switch on. And when I take a photo with the flash on, it doesn't, the flash doesn't come on. Now, it might be this model that's giving problems, but that shouldn't be the case. But yeah, the flash was giving me problems. It has a fingerprint unlock and the speakers at the bottom here. Speaker is very squeaky to be honest. The full volume is like an average um, speaker f you know for any known branded smartphone Samsung etc. It's like medium volume when it comes to one of these full volume. So watching a film you need to put a full volume if you want to use the speaker but it's very squeaky so it doesn't have that good surround sound system and that, that sort of speaker. Okay, so it has a built-in 2 gig of RAM and 16 gig internal memory. Um, the micro SD memory card you can adjust the mem memory to a higher memory if you want, and the SIM card goes in here. You got the buttons here as well, and at the bottom that's where the charging port goes in, and at the top, if you take this off, is where the 3.5 millimeters headphone jack goes in. On the right side, you got the volume buttons and the power button here. Now, when you switch this on. Um, it will take you to the Android startup where you have to register um, reg register your fingerprint etc. But I've gone through that just to show you how it operates. Now, I've went to the camera. Now, the camera was pretty useless to be honest for, you know, 8 megapixel and a 5 megapixel. But for the price and the amount of features still packed into this budget price smartphone, I still think it's brilliant. Okay, now it can record 80 degrees wide angle. It has beauty mode, it has bokeh um, effect, it has night mode, it has all these features built in. Okay, so that's the one good thing about it. And you can see that the options are here. As you can see here, I've switched it off. That's auto. And that's uh, the picture. Let me go video, it might work on a video. Okay, so it's working now. So picture wise, Usually the um, smartphones that I use, even in picture-wise, the flash will still come on when you put on continuous um, flash mode on, okay? But yeah, so it's working now um, on video mode. Uh, the, the flash is pretty good. I've also done a, a recording as well, so let me show you the recordings that I've done. Alright, so I've done few, I have took a few pictures of it, uh, just on the table. So that's a few pictures. That's a picture here. And that's a video. That's a picture. And that's another picture I've done a close up. Um, it might look quite decent. Well, when you zoom in, it gets all pixelated. Uh, that's a video I've done. Capturing voice is very squeaky as well, so bear that in mind as well. But you know, they they didn't really put much effort in the cameras because it's it's a rock smartphone. It's made for mostly builders and those who want a phone that when it drops it won't break. It got that strong build quality. That's what it's made for mainly. All right, so I'm gonna go settings now. Now in settings, you got um, the basic features that any Android smartphone would have. It has Wi-Fi. It has hotspot. The SIM cards here. Now you can put two SIMs in this, okay? Two SIM slot, SIM SIM one and SIM two. Um, so we got AirPlay mode here as well. Now if you go down, you got connected devices. Now it has Bluetooth device here. This doesn't really have any NFC or anything built it built in, so you can't really use Google Pay or anything with this smartphone. So that bear that in mind. And that's the battery information. Then you got display here, where it gives you the brightness level, the night light. Adaptive brightness, the wallpaper, advanced, you got the sleep mode, you got auto rotation, font size, etc. 
then you got the sound here where you can control the sound here and you got all these other features here as well so you can put and the, vibra and the vibration, the dial pa pad notes, etc, etc and you can switch it off, switch it on it also has the storage mode, so without downloading any apps or anything it's already 20, 27% is already used up now this is quite smooth with operating, okay that's because that's, this doesn't have no apps downloaded and it has a 2 gig RAM, so it won't cope after 2 apps you download in, I've tried a lot of 2 gig RAMs, 4 gig RAMs, etc. For 2 gig RAM, you download one or two apps, that's it, your phone will start slowing down. So, you know, this is just for those who just want something for calls, maybe just download one WhatsApp or etc. Email um, app, that's all. Okay, it's not something for gaming or anything like that. It has a memory cleanup as well, so it makes it a little bit faster. You got security and location option here, where you got the face unlock and you got the fingerprint unlock at the back here as well. So you got the two options there, and obviously the standard um, unlocking as well. You got the emergency rescue here, so that's the emergency button here, the SOS that you can um, edit and customize it the way you want it. You got the gesture here, where you can got three finger screenshot, gesture motion, uh, smart motion. You got accounts here, you can put, add extra accounts. You got navigation bars, you got digital well being and parental controls. So that's pretty good as well for if you're giving this to a child, you can put parental controls on it. You got Dura Speed, your QR code scanner. Okay, that's, you know, something that a lot of high end smartphones don't have here, but, you know, this has it on its settings, the QR code scanner. Okay, and languages, it has up to 48 languages built in. The build quality is made out of aluminium alloy reinforced body material. So the quality is amazing and very strong. It has a 5.5 5 inch IPS screen and it has a built in Gorilla Glass 4. It has Android 9.0 software built into this and it operates on 3G. Okay, or below 2G. 3G, 2G. Okay, so pretty much it does have quite a few good um, features built in. But the main thing that really stands out regarding this budget price rugged smartphone is that it's waterproof, dust proof, shock proof, uh, you got all those features and you got such a high battery capacity of 4650mAh battery capacity and that's the only two things that really impresses me regarding this smartphone and the build quality made out of aluminium alloy. So thank you for watching my video, please do give a like and subscribe.